Welcome to the Valley Advocate Podcast, featuring interviews that take us deeper into the people and happenings on the local scene. For more podcasts and a closer look at what's going on in the Valley, visit us at valleyadvocate.com. Hi, my name is Dave Eisenstatter. I am the editor of The Valley Advocate, and this is the Valley Advocate podcast that we do in collaboration with Amherst Media. I'm here with arts and culture editor Gina Beavers. Yes, you are. And we're here with Tony Tones Hall. Tony Hello. Tones. <laughs> Tones, who Hall. makes some granola. Yeah. Not yeah. just yeah. any granola. Local maple granola. That's what I'm talking about. Tell <laughs> that's us the name about of your this. business, right? Uh, that's the name of our product, yeah. yeah. Our business is called Massachusetts Artisan Foods because um, we aim to make more than just granola with Massachusetts products. Um, and we make granola here in Massachusetts with maple syrup um, grown right here in our state. Yeah. And I, in honor of different yeah, local make, rock bands or <laughs> music bands. Yeah, we make different blends um, where we take inspiration from local artists. And we ask them their ideas, and then we put their name on the package and a little description about them, and then they get to bring um, our products with them on tour all across the country next to their T-shirts and CDs, and we get to put their name in all of our grocery stores. I'm a local artist. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. <laughs> And I want to think about my own granola. <laughs> yeah, like great. But even if you never make it, I need to think about my own granola. Yeah, yes. right. Because that's a pr- everybody should. You got to start with a local herb or fruit, oh. and then think about what kind of pairing goes with you. So and then what we can would talk. You, so what would you cho- or do you have your own granola? Well, I am in one of these bands. Okay, and okay, our band good. is called Flame and Peach yes. and the Liberated and, Waffles. And the Liberated Waffles. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, and so we use some local spicy peppers from oh. Kitchen Garden Farm that are a little bit lemony flavored um, because nice. one of my bandmates, my partner Jamie, is very into lemon. Um, and then we combo that with some peach preserves because we're called Flame and Peach for the nice. happiness that comes from the earth. <laughs> um, and then we add a little bit of other spices in there to kind of balance it out and give us some really great uh, feeling. You want to sounds... try it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a yeah. <laughs> so I tell people that this is like a two-minute heat. Oh. It's, like, it's spicy. Okay, It's good. not mild. It's medium. It's so medium. Maybe, so maybe we should have had this at the I end. I know, right? No, but we're, we no, we're, no, we're well, good. We're okay. good. Right. Gina and I are yeah. All right. You ready me, for it? Yep, I'm ready. A little ready. apricot there right. in there. Okay, wow. This is really pretty. I yeah. I have my glasses on. Yeah. See so, better. but this is, I mean, this is, yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at it, and so it looks like there's like candy oh ginger gosh, or something. There is so candy ginger. Good. Yeah. yeah. I'm noticing. And right is that like, p- is that like a walnut or a pecan? <laughs> there are pecans. Yep. You're seeing pieces of pecans, almonds, and then sesame seeds kind of bind up onto the sunflower that seeds. That is so good. Do you notice how Dave was really methodical, and I just well, shoved I d- it in my face? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's different ways for different folks. I just, I just wanted to see what, you know, I want to see what I'm eating. But it's like, it's really mm. nice. Mm. I'm glad you like it. I love it. Yeah, mm. I mean, I'm not just saying that either. It's great. really nice. I kind of feel like you've got your idea of what local is is kind of interesting because it's not just the local products that you're using. You're, you're using like the local ideas of people that are um, just here. Definitely. And I mean, I think that's really yeah, cool. Yeah, that is really cool. Thanks. Um, that, I mean, that helps you expand your whole idea of what what pairings are and absolutely. having to like it's a science. Yeah. In a way, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, All right. it, we. I mean, we do. I mean, we do Valley Advocate sessions where we invite in musicians. And I mean, I saw uh, these little bags of granola <laughs> at State Street Fruit Store, and I was just like, "Old oh, Flame, we've like had them in." And then Bell's Bar, and I was like, "These are band names. Why are they on granola?" Um, <laughs> That's pretty I, much the point. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I kind of, I'm curious, kind of how that, how that connected for you. Like, how, how did you come up with the idea of okay, like let's make music inspired food that people will taste, you know, so they're tasting the sound of these musicians, or at least the ideas of these musicians. Ah, yeah. It's probably a combination of my previous experiences, and then one moment in time, and then the desire to start a business to learn. As Hmm. an experiential learner, it felt like I was at a point where I was ready to do that. So the experiences that I've had are like, I grew up as a musician. Um, I used to book shows like in VFWs when I was in high school. And then also the um, buy, Be a Local Hero campaign started mm-hmm. in the small town that I grew up in by mostly a couple people in the church that my parents went to. So I learned about that and my parents advised me to start saying, well, this is local music. Kids, adults, you should all come out and see the local music because mm-hmm. the local food scene already kind of exists. And so 
that evolved and I went to UMass and I met a lot of really great musicians living in Amherst and going to school there. Um, and then one day, so I was doing merch for Bella's Bartok because they're good friends. I've done a lot of like wearing weird costumes or their big heads <laughs> and dancing during their <laughs> concerts on like bigger <laughs> events. Um, and so sometimes we'll do the merch, my partner and I, after their shows. And um, they, for a while, and I think still today, had toothbrushes. And, you know, people who've been to a Bella's That's Bartok show before want to come back. That, and you like, probably, say, that like, yeah, say Bella's Bartok. Yeah, it's just Bartok regular old toothbrush okay, says it. Bella's Bartok. Nice. And we sold them uh, just very quickly because people were impressed right. that there was something, something they never had. Different. But also, it's something you need, especially at a festival. <laughs> you know, how many people have gotten to a festival and not had a toothbrush? And it's a reasonable price and it's cool. Um, yeah. And Genius. so that, right at the same time that I was doing that, I was starting this business and um, recognizing that it's like cereal, we all have a lot of options. Mm. There's um, not always like, it's not always clear why we choose what we choose when we're in the grocery store. Yeah. And you know, I've been eating, I used to manage a place that had tons of granola. I've uh, like gone through many of the different local suppliers because I just eat a lot of granola as I work really hard <laughs> and I'm busy. And it felt like, what was I gonna do to differentiate us other than using only local food as the, um, the flavor? Right. Yeah. And it just sort of clicked to me that the, the bands would get this benefit of having their name out in public in a sphere that they would never see and as a super, I would say like hyper small business, like we both myself and the other owner have other jobs that we really care about. We're both right. educators, mm -hmm. but part time in alternative education. And so as a way to not try to spend all my resources finding a nationwide distributor or spend all of my time um, convincing someone high up in the supermarket system that my high quality product was worth taking on, a new idea for distribution was to just send it out with people that I love and people that I trust who need support. I mm. mean, and, and the kids, Bellas Bartok, Old Flame, like some of the core members of these bands are people that I've known for a long time and really care about, and I want to yeah. support them being successful artists. And as a single individual, buying their CD is great, yada, 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 but this is something I could actually do to then build with people who are already building themselves but also now looking forward and helping artists who aren't as exposed using this kind of platform. What this is really doing is it's like revolutionizing yeah. what's on the merch table. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, mm -hmm. like here, I mean, like you starting with like toothbrushes, you're going into granola. <laughs> I mean, you could, do, I mean, you could go, really go anywhere with so, that. And if you all are familiar with Mama's Marmalade, they're a local bluegrass okay, yes, band, yes, 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 and uh, been friends yeah, with one of their members sessions. for a long time. Yeah, I thought mm -hmm. they yeah. did advocate yeah. sessions. So, and so we've been talking about how we're going to make marmalade this this uh, summer. That's great. And then when are we going to turn a marmalade granola out? Yeah, oh um, right. Gosh. Yeah, because they would love to have a marmalade for each one of them. I think. That's yeah. really cool. Do you have any? Do you have like? Do you have any band? Like, so I feel like normally people in your position be like, oh, I really hope I get an X store, or Y store. Like, do you have a band that you're like, I really hope that like they'll come in and like oh, yeah. and like Without make a granola with us? <laughs> That's a great question. I mean, I think Suitcase Junket is on the top okay. of my list because I just love his music. Mm -hmm. um, Parsons Field, love their music. Would love to have them in. Uh, yeah, I haven't, you know, that's a really great thought that I haven't really put a ton of, ton of plans on. You're no. in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. I need I more important like band. That. Gina, you want to be uh, yeah, you wanna why be the not? band? Okay, great. Sure. So me and Gina have a band now. And <laughs> yeah, good. All right, great. Yeah, I feel so honored to already work with two of my favorite bands, mm. like, ever. Yeah, that's like, great. and the kids and Bella's Bartok are bands that I've just, like, driven around the region to see because they make me really happy. When I've lived in other places, I've, like, listened to their music. Um, so Did I'm anyone have like a really crazy that. idea that was like way too out there? They were like, mm, "That would be a horrible that like sardines mm. and granola." No. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good ideas, and there are some other ones. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think consistently everyone is like, "So when are we going to make the cannabis granola?" Ah, like, that's a very good that's question. So I've learned I mean, a lot about that from your podcast, right? actually, and it's oh, just not up cool. for. We're not ready for it. Mm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's not, it that's be been really the most cool wild edible, idea right? that people want. Yeah, it yeah. definitely is yeah. a thing. Yeah. But almost every band is like, cannabis? <laughs> right <laughs> <out of> front. <laughs> yeah, Let's well, that's, see, a, that's else? a great question to have. Yeah. I, uh, wasabi. I said no uh, to wasabi. Oh, also, okay. we don't grow wasabi here. It's right. true. It was easy yeah. to say no it's to. True. Hopefully nobody <laughs> yeah. asked for asparagus. 
Not yet. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah, some like Hadley based band. That'd mm. be pretty cool. That actually. would be cool. Um, that might work. Could they make us for like, like a, ice cream. Like a dry. This is true. Maybe this is true. A dry and garlic. Garlic is something we're going to be at the Garlic and Arts Festival this year. Oh, that's and great. And no band has asked for a garlic flavor. Could you mm. do that? So I'm not sure. Well, of course. Absolutely. They <laughs> really? do garlic ice cream. We, Yeah, oh. that Garlic and Arts Festival does some amazing wow. things with garlic. Okay, I've not been there yet, so maybe I need to go and see what There's some varieties that done. are so sweet that they kind of lose all that, like, spicy buzz. And mm. then if you cook them really slow and low, the sweetness kind of emanates out, and then you can use that. Interesting. Yeah. They yeah. won't be, like, bitey. It'll be okay. more, like... Undertone. All right, what else do you have in your bag? Oh, good question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a great question, Gina. Yeah, and we'll, we'll subside on that uh, <laughs> yeah. spiciness. Yes. This is our And the Kids blend. Oh, um, nice. We got double ginger, um, so that's candy ginger, and then we take ginger from Old Friends Farm, okay. and they powder it, which is a great mm -hmm. thing to make your own tea and drink it, but what we do is we take pears um, from either Small Ones Farm in Amherst or Apex Farm out in Shelburne, we cut them up and we roll them in that powdered ginger and then dehydrate them dehydrate in our ovens. Oh. And then we mix that in in the second round of making the granola. So um, and the kids just love ginger, that's their... They asked like, for a lot of things. They said, well, how can we get sparkles? Sparkly, was one thing like glittery things, right? things was oh. something that both and the kids and Bella's Bartok brought up uh, in conversation. But then also they just, they like the ideas of pears, I think. A, oh, a I kind of a, a spicy and cool um, combo like of it. gingeriness and yeah. pears. So let me Let's see what's going get you on going there. Beautiful. Excellent. Yeah, and don't <laughs> skimp on the sparkles. Yeah, I know, really. right? And I'm not being methodical again. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to take a look I'm here. So a this is like, I don't even, like, this looks like one of those, like, peanut butter filled mm. pretzels, that's but I don't so even good. know what that that's is. That's a pear. This is a pear. Okay, mm -hmm. that's awesome. And then what do we got? Almonds, mm -hmm. oats and stuff. That's, that's so okay. good. Yummy. You mastered this thing. Thank you. I got to give credit where credit is due. The other uh, bakers have have done a lot of work. This I am uh, nice. really into working with people and working with food, but um, my business partner, Erin Irvin, is an incredible baker, and she hmm. does a lot of the kind of like, yeah, pear, ginger, sounds like a good idea. How are we going to make it taste right. like something people really right. want? Yeah. You know? Kudos to Erin. Yeah, kudos yeah. to Erin. One thing wow. that I was thinking about, so this is merch for these bands now, um, and they're like on the road, but they're basically going to be stuck in a car for like hours and hours mm. with food that they can't eat without like cutting into their profits or whatever. True. So, I have there's promised some temptation. them every time they go on tour and take, we typically send these four ounce bags in five gallon buckets. A farmer told me once before I was going to send them to him, he said, I need an indestructible package. If I'm going to put your really nice looking granola in with my root vegetables in the right. back of a truck and five gallon buckets really do it. You can fit about 30 of them into a bucket. Wow. But I always promise at least two pounds of granola just loose in a big bag <laughs> so and with Bella's Bartok probably lasts them like six hours but I think <laughs> Old Flam might have had it all the way down to, oh, to south nice. on their last okay. tour maybe they didn't that make it home with hysterical. it so it is it is a bit of a temptation for sure yeah so how do you do your packaging um well in short uh one of my favorite artists in the valley Michael Krigler um who's part of Prank Designs he designed this logo mm -hmm. um and he did that with a lot of kind of input from us and back and forth and then um I am not a professional designer but I got through um web design class in high school by learning to te to design with Photoshop yeah and so I've just taken all of um kind of the important pieces of what we needed to say about the granola and on the back, just taking descriptions of yep. the bands from their own That's words great. and sort of with my own a little bit of tweaking um, and done this design. And then we get these stickers printed at Paradise Copies right now. Oh, man, right um, down the road. Right Super down the road. Low. Yeah, yeah. Super and they low. are like an extremely important resource for me as a small business owner who makes a lot of mistakes. They like <laughs> oh. really help me fix, you know, I sent you the wrong thing. Yep. yep. Can you print it right now? <laughs> I have so much uh, credit to them. Everybody needs one of them. Yeah, for real. All right. Yeah. You want to try some more? Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. What do we got here? I need to know what's so, happening. So this is cardamom <laughs> apple pie, oh. an old Whoa, flame yeah. blend. Um, is this Emma, old flame? yeah, Emma asked me okay. to kind of do something that Thank gave you. us a little nostalgia for like, their so blend. I'm still like loaded up with the last oh, one. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. I know. So what do we? <laughs> what do we got here? All right. So oh you my got gosh. Um, local so, apples. You can apples. have this bag if you need it. Oh, you're the best. Um, local apples from Apex Farm this season. Um, and we dehydrate those at our bakery, and then we mix in a little bit of black pepper and this a little bit of cardamom. Oh, so nice. Mm. Glad you like Isn't it. Isn't it nice? Gow. 
And just like the spicy granola, you get a little more of the pepper when you mm -hmm. eat it with a, a milk. Like the spiciness kind of dissipates into the milk. And then when you eat it straight up like this, you get I get more of the cardamom and the um, maple and sesame. It's, I feel like I'm like on the trail. I feel like it, I can yeah, trail. Yeah, right. The, like, it's just the yeah, like it's yeah. <laughs> it's really, really pleasant. Yeah, wonderful. It really is pleasant. Yay, you. Yeah. Yay, so where do you guys. get this stuff? Um, we get all of our maple syrup either from um, North Hadley Sugar Shack mm -hmm. or Hager's Farm Market up mm -hmm. in Shelburne Falls. Yep. Um, we use a distributor called Hillcrest, and they're out of upstate New York. And they, uh, I mean, the way they explain it to me is they aim to use grains that are as local to their region of upstate right. New York as possible um, because it's also economic and also, like, about their choice as a business. Um, and then we kind of go out into our farmer's market knowledge about oh. all these flavors and what we're going to be using from the local farms. Um, and so I've worked um, with quite a few farms and food purveyors here in the valley. I studied um, food, agriculture, and education. So I was exposed to a lot of our local creators. Um, last season, I was lucky enough to work with Kitchen Garden. We use spicy peppers from them. Um, mm. I've already mentioned that we work with Old Friends Farm, get their uh, ginger. And yeah, we kind of like go for whatever the bands are aiming at. And then how do we, do we already have any relationships with anybody? And we go from there. And What's then, it? and then, where do we get? Yeah, yeah where do like What's where can we go? Oh, thank too. you. Um, so these bags are four to five dollars. Okay. Uh, the fl the um, flavors are generally That's around four five. ounces. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and so you already mentioned State Street, Cooper's Corner, River Valley. Um, we're at uh, Crimson and Clover Farm Store, mm -hmm. um, Brookfield Farm, um, Next Barn Over, uh, Simple Gifts Farm. I'm sure, I'm forgetting one, but I okay. think that's most of them. Yeah. And where can we find you? What's your what website? What Oh, we're at localmaplegranola.com or massachusettsartisanfoods.com. Yeah, and then I'm at flameandpeach.com or liberatedwaffles.org. <laughs> I love the liberated waffle. Everybody <laughs> needs a liberated waffle. Yeah, uh, yeah. agreed. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks so much for for Thank you, bring, for coming in and especially for bringing I know, us your like, granola. Yeah, a little yeah. Snack so in happy the day. to share. Thank, Thank you, you both for having me. So I really great. appreciate it. Thank you, Tony. Yeah. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to visit us at valleyadvocate.com.